This program is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. Broadcasting and streaming live all Across America, this is Home Talk USA with Michael King, where we will discuss topics pertaining to your home with industry-leading experts. Michael King is a licensed general contractor with more than 30 years of experience in home improvements and the author of Contracting with the King. Join us this hour for our segment, Invent America, with your co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Discover what's next in the home improvement industry and explore new products and innovations. Or if you have that next great big idea, learn what it takes to bring your invention to the world as Michael King and Rita Crompton talk to America's inventors and innovators. Remember, the America of tomorrow is being invented today. We invite you to visit us at HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, we proudly present Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Yay! Welcome, everyone. That's right. Another hour of education and information. I got some great, great news. We have two new affiliates that have now joined our family. We have WNTK 99.7 FM and WUVR 1490 AM. Uh, That's the Newport claremont um new hampshire area we want to welcome all of you also we have uh k-r-e-i 800 a.m k-j-f-f 1400 a.m down in the st charles st louis missouri uh area so all of you welcome to the show uh all our new listeners what you're going to expect is education information. We are a topic oriented show. This part of Home Talk USA is the Invent America part of our show where we talk to inventors and entrepreneurs. We kind of um, uh, maybe let you know of the, the technologies of the future. And then also, if you do have a product or technology, uh, how to get your uh, product to market. Uh, how do how you know how do you you know do your prototypes? How do you um, hire a patent attorney and proprietary protection? All these great things you need to know. Um, so hey, it's a great hour. Welcome all of you. And now I'd like to welcome my co-host and my sidekick, the inventor lady herself, Miss Rita Crompton. Hey Rita, how you doing? I love being your sidekick. <laughs> hey, you're gonna be the main the main act soon, so uh, <laughs> you know you keep doing what you're doing. I mean, uh, everybody say, "Hey, King, keep her on the air, man." She's uh, she's got, uh, believe it or not, she's got a uh, voice for radio. You know, so well, uh, <laughs> I love it, and I enjoy doing it. It's so funny because I get so many inventors now. I've got lists of inventors that want to be on for different topics, and you know, I could lay out a, a, a list of schedules and inventors that would take us through probably Christmas of 2024. <laughs> oh, that's good. Everybody wants to be involved. It's so much fun. They're so excited. They love the opportunity to be able to talk to other inventors. They love the idea of being able to get their product information out there and to learn what's next, what's well, next for me, and how they share then their experiences. Everybody in America has the potential be, to be an inventor. That's right. That's right. We all have ideas. You know, we just got to figure out how to put it on a piece of paper, and that's where it starts, uh, from an idea that's, and to write it down. That's but, for sure. Uh, Rita, there's a lot going on right now. We're going to be busy for the next, uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, me and you are going to uh, hop on that big bird. We're going to head out to Vegas, and we're going to bring our show to the ASD Market Week. We're excited, and I want to talk about that. Um, this is the first time you're going to have the opportunity to go to the show and um, and check it out. 
Uh, so one trade shows loss is another trade shows gain. And you know what I mean by that. I don't want to get yep. into details with that. But, uh, but Rita, let's talk about ASD Market Week. It was it was like a godsend to us. It really was because ASD Market Week covers every industry. They they say dustpans to diamonds. I look at diapers to diamonds because we've got a couple of ladies that are bringing new prototypes for diapers. But um, you know it covers everything that a consumer would want to get their hands on. New technology, new consumer products, people at different stages of the process. And and I'm making an announcement today. We are. Invent America presents the Innovation Award, and every product that goes with us, every inventor who goes with us, has the opportunity to win the Innovation Award, and the voters are all of the attendees at the show, and that is new. We have never done that before, and I'm so excited. Well, I tell you, that's the start of uh, something that might be... uh, um, uh, Something very special, you know, and then maybe what we got to do is figure out how to uh, name an award in honor of my name. What do you think? You know what oh, I mean? So we're yeah. going to have an award in my name, the, I the think Cajun so Contract too. Award, the Cajun Contract Award, or, or the Bayou Builder Award. I don't there know. We're going to come out with something crazy, you know. Uh, there so. you go. There you go. <laughs> so, no, ASD has just been wonderful. They're they're great to work with. Um, we've got so many opportunities. Our first guest today is an inventor of a pet product. Well, they've got a whole area for pet products. So we've got two or three different pet products that are going. Um, We have got a gentleman who has gone to this show several times. And when I told him, I said, well, Steve, we're going to go to ASD Marco. And he goes, oh, my God, I love that show. So he's going to be on to talk about his experiences. And uh, next week, we're going to have the producers of the show on, right? A representative? She's, well, she's yeah. going to be on today. And, oh, today. Uh, okay. She's going to be on today. And then next week, we're going to have on a couple of the different people that are going with us with their product. And All when right. I say what the inventors are going with us, it's about their products. And so what yeah. we do is we take the products. Um, I've got staff that goes to represent these products and to talk about licensing, to get feedback, to take orders yeah. um, for the people that can take orders. So everything between now and... The day that we do our broadcast from the show is going to be about the show. And ASD Market Week people have been wonderful to work with. And so I'm excited to have Stephanie on today to talk about her experiences because that's what she does is work with new people to get them ready for the show. Well, Invent America is growing, and you heard the announcement of uh, four more radio stations that's carrying the show as of today. So, uh, Oh, that's so exciting. I love it. Yeah. yeah, And, you know, it's it's inventors are growing you know as the economy has started to recover now we are able to get out there and honestly dollar for dollar i get people say well i'm going to hire a marketing team no go to a show you can talk to more people in three days than you can in six months doing it online well my whole goal to be honest with you is uh for these inventors to give us the uh uh, the mistake check you know what i mean by the mistake check Uh, if they make the mistake and they spend all this money, and they don't make the mistakes. They just give it to us, right? Because we're just throwing it away, you know? That's, so. that's one way of looking at it. Absolutely. Well, I want the mistake check. But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nah. That's that's for sure. I get so many inventors say, well, I, I wish I would have known about you 15 years ago. It's like, yeah. I, we were doing this 15 years ago. Well, yeah, we me. were, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, You've been doing it as long as I've been going to the show since I first I met you a long time ago. Long so. time ago. I've been your sidekick for a long time. Yeah, but it's just, uh, you know... I, Look, my goal of this show is education, putting it out there. And, man, if we could get some technologies and, you know, and I'm walking in that box store and I'm looking at the shelves and I see XYZ product and I'm saying to myself, Michael King, well done because yeah. it's on the shelf. Look at that. Yeah. I was the reason it's on the shelf, you know. So I know I'm being a little selfish here, but it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's an accomplishment when you, can get that pro- when you can get that product on the shelf. Well, Randy, there's the music. We've got to pay some bills. Please visit our website at HomeTalkUSA.com. We're going to come back. We have a whole hour dedicated to entrepreneurs, inventors. So we sure hope all of you stay tuned right here on the Genesis Communication Radio Network at GCNLive.com. I'm the Cajun Contractor, Michael King, along with the ventilated Rita Crompton. We're going to be right back. Don't go nowhere. Yay! Home talk. 
Talk USA with Michael King. Do you have questions about your next home improvement project or home repairs? Now you can chat with verified home repair and home improvement experts in just minutes. Get the help you need by visiting HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, back to Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country. Home Talk USA with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. All right, welcome back. Don't forget, we are streaming live on the World Wide Web at the Genesis Communication Radio Network at GCNlive.com. For those of you who just joined us, we want to... uh, uh, Welcome you to the Event America, part of the Home Talk USA family. All right, Rita, man, let's get this show on the road. Who's our first guest on the Event America show? Our first guest is John Hagerman. He is the inventor of mobile, and he is going to be joining us at ASD Market Week. So, John, we are so excited to have you go with us. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself and then about mobile. Well, thank you very much. Good morning, Rita. Good morning, Michael. Uh, looking forward to going to the show. Mobile is a product for people that are active with their dogs. Anytime you are out and about with your dog, whether you're hiking, you're at the beach, at the park, just or just for a walk, your dog's always thirsty. And we have manufactured a product uh, to solve that problem of hydrating your dog. We manufacture our product here in Charleston. It's 100% made in the USA. And basically what it is, it's a silicone bowl that is made from medical grade silicone. Uh, The bowl is collapsible. And you fold it up. You can put it in the pouch that is supplied with the bowl. And the bowl is made from medical grade silicone. It's the same material as your uh, as a baby's pacifier. Uh, it's microwave safe. It's dishwasher safe, and the bowl and the pouch together only weigh one point seven ounces. So it's very convenient to to attach to uh, the dog's collar, its harness, its leash. Uh, you can uh, the ladies like it because it fits very neatly in their purse. Uh, it's three, the pouch is three and a half inches square, and it takes up very little room. Wow. Uh, you know, having two Huskies, and we we drove 5,000 miles with two Huskies in the backseat of a Prius. I could have used this a couple of years ago. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you don't, you don't really appreciate the fact that dogs don't drink well out of, you know, the little uh, water bottles or even a McDonald's cup until you've got them um, all day long in the back of a Prius. And so, you know, things like, like this that make life easier, because we all travel with our pets these days and you know they're always going everywhere with us and and so th- something that's easy quick they can carry it themselves that's the thing that i loved about it. it's you know you can put it on their their harness and they don't even know it's there exactly so what have you done as far as getting the word out about mobile what you know the in in the past how long have you had it for sale i guess is a better question for me to ask you and then what what are your next steps all right, well, we, we, we started the company in uh, 2019, and we went to a, 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 a international pet expo, and it, it was a hit. And we, we, did it. we had a nice show, and right after the show, we received an order from Europe for 30,000 units, <laughs> and every, everything was taking off. We thought we were going to be off to the races. And all of a sudden, this unfortunate pandemic hit, and yeah. it, it, it really impacted our business. Um, yeah, people were, during the pandemic, people were adopting dogs left and right. Our problem was to get the word out there. Um, all of the big box stores, all the major retailers, everybody went home to work and were working remotely. We couldn't get our product in to be evaluated. And uh, we just really haven't recovered like we had hoped for 
uh, since the end of the pandemic. We've tried social media. It did okay, but it wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, We're looking at possibly uh, some other media-type advertising right now. Uh, But I wanted to get to the show to meet with people that are not, let's say, necessarily focus 100% on pets. For an example, a Target. Uh, They have a pet section. Lowe's is putting in a pet section. We would like to meet with those people and introduce this product to them because we can co-brand the pouch with the customer's logo. And that's something that we're very proud of. We can also print their logo right on the silicone bowl in silicone ink, and it's very, very durable. Excellent. Excellent. I know nobody put pandemic in their 2020 business plans, so it took everybody by surprise. And yes. you're not the only the only inventor and new product that got kind of sidelined. And so now it's it's back to the races and seeing what you can do. So getting out there to the show, being able to talk to the right people, even to the point of being able to take orders is um, a wonderful opportunity. So we are looking forward to having you with us. And um, so are you looking then... Um, John, at being able to uh, take orders and and get to the point of licensing, or are you looking at then um, being? We don't like to use the word startup. Um, that's kind of a, a no no these days. But we look at being growing organically. What I'm looking at is obviously we're going to be taking orders. Uh, mm-hmm. We have several companies that are looking at to purchase our company now. Uh, What's the value? Who knows? Yeah. But but the the interesting thing is, um, I would love to keep the company and keep it going. Uh, but at you know at some point in time, you have to say, well, you know, here's somebody that can probably do it better that has the, the working capital to do the proper advertising and take this to the level it needs to be. And yeah. so. Uh- um, the, there, there's our music starting, but we always look at good invention is like a child. You conceive it, you nurture it, it sucks you dry, you throw it out. And until you throw it out, it will never grow up and be big and really take care of you and hit all of those um, mountain peaks that it's that it's cut out to hit. So with that, we are going to take a break. John, thank you so much for being with us today. And now we are going to go and pay some bills, everyone. Stick with us because we have got a really wonderful next guest coming up. Thanks, everybody. Freedom. Thank you.